listeners, this is the Just In Time radio show coming to you from, can you guess? Yeah, deep down under Australia. Yes, there's nothing like the sound of a didgeridoo. Didgeridoo. Oh, I do like that word. It's a wind instrument invented by the Aboriginals, the native people of Australia. I love it. Don't you? I got a really sweet email from a listener, Mickey Suzuki from Tokyo, wishing me a happy birthday. Now, don't get excited. You know that my age is the most closely guarded secret in the radio show business world. So there is no way that you are going to find out today. No way. No way, Jose. Okay? Let me read the email to you. Dear Justin, I would like to wish you many happy returns on your birthday. How does it feel to be 45? Oh, what have I done? What have I said? I'm not supposed to read that bit. Stupid. Not right anyway. No, no. I am nowhere near 45. Anyway, that's enough about that. Hey, hey, what's... Hang on. What's that sound, Dave? I can hear seagulls. Why are we playing seagulls, Dave? Oh, yes. The other day, someone asked me where the word kangaroo comes from. So, close your eyes, listeners, and let's go back to the year 1770, when Captain Cook was sailing around the seas of Australia. One day, the ship came close to land, and Captain Cook saw a strange animal jumping along the beach. So he turned to the guides and said, What is that? And the guides looked at each other as if to say, What is this crazy white man talking about? And then one of the guides turned round and said, Kangaroo, which in Aboriginal means I don't know. So the captain said, Ah, kangaroo! and wrote it down in his notebook. That's what they are. How interesting. The guides looked at each other, desperate not to laugh, because Captain Cook was quite a strict gentleman. They waved to excuse themselves, then ran off holding their stomachs to find a place where they could laugh more freely. Now you may ask me if this story is true. I might just say, kangaroo. But, no, in fact, it is very true, more or less. As true as I'm standing on my head. And, after all, I am in Australia, aren't I? And now, my dear listeners, to delight your ears, without further ado, some didgeridoo from the Urban Outback Orchestra of Australia. <laughs> 